I do want to start out um, just uh, sending my condolences to uh, Fitzgerald and um, his family, his three children. Uh, obviously, um, Bob and I are close from, you know, as Bob is close with a lot of people in this organization, but spending so much time together the uh, last couple of years on the road and getting to know him. And, uh, the uh, four-year battle that Carol had with cancer was um, an incredible fight, um, but the you know, sadness in our organization is profound, and um, I'm incredibly inspired by Bob and his kids and the way they've handled everything. Um, nobody should have to go through that, but unfortunately lots of people do, and they've handled it beautifully and we just um, I just want to say on behalf of the organization I want to wish the Fitzgerald family well. You mentioned you were feeling good. How would you kind of contrast last year at this time to now as far as you health wise Oh uh, no not even close. I, I feel uh, a lot better than I did a year ago. I'll be I'll be out there coaching and I'll be ready to go. So let's move on to the team, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Hiring Mike Brown as, as your number one assistant, yeah. what, what was the fit there? What, why did he um, fit? The, the one thing that, uh, that I figured out pretty quickly on this job is that it's all about the human being. Um, it's not about, you know, I mean, you, you, read, you read stuff about, you know, coaches who are hired and is he a defensive guy, is he an offensive guy, or, you know, what did he do at this spot, or what happened at that spot? It has nothing to do with that. Basketball is, is not the most complicated thing. Uh, there's a million people out there who can tell me how to guard the pick and roll, um, or give me a good play to run. Um, this is all about good people, getting people who function well in a group. Um, so Mike, while people may see him as a defensive specialist, um, and maybe that doesn't fit, you know, in terms of like, you know, how the staff has pieced together the last couple of years. I don't care about that. I care about people who can communicate, who are fun to be around, who you want to be with day after day, who are loyal, who are great teammates. And it's probably the thing I'm most proud of over the last couple of years is that we've been able to fill our staff with those kinds of people, whether it's Ron Adams or Alvin Gentry, Luke Walden. Um, Mike is cut out of that same cloth, and like I said, it's just basketball, but we're together every day, and uh, you, better, you better like the people next to you, and, and everybody likes Mike. It's going to be great. Steve, how much have you talked to your players during the summer and, and uh, fatigue, and it was such a long season? I mean, how, how are you going to handle the beginning of training camp? Is it going to be any different because then three of them are coming up a long Yeah, we have, we have to pace our team really well this year. That's a... Uh, key component to the season. Um, going to the finals three years in a row is uh, not something that happens very often. Uh, I think for a reason. You know, I was um, in Chicago uh, with the Bulls. We did it. Um, they did it twice. Um, I was on one of those teams. And I remember the third year, you know, even with Michael and Scotty and Dennis, it was a hard year and, and we were running on fumes. And um, so it's, it's difficult to do. Um, the emotion of it, the, the exertion that is uh, spent. I mean, you, you go through a lot and um, you don't get as much time off as everybody else. So we got to pace our team. I think it's great that we've got some new guys. We're going to miss some of the old guys for sure. But um, I think in many ways uh, we're going to be re-energized. KD will absolutely add um, a different level of energy to our team that uh, will be necessary because of the grind of trying to make it back for a third time. You had said on the last night of the regular season last year when you guys got to 73, you don't want to hear anybody suggest 73. Yeah. Now you guys make a obviously a big acquisition in the off season. Yeah. Are you hearing that? Do you get people? Do you get much of that from people about you, you got a top even last year? Um, maybe a couple people have kind of tongue in cheek said stuff to me, but um, we we don't care uh, how many games we win as long as we win enough to uh, be in a great position. Uh, in the playoffs, obviously, you always want the home court, you want uh, the one seed. We love that, um, but it makes zero difference to me um, how many wins we get. Um, last year, we're you know we're very proud of the, the record, um, but we'd rather have the banner that isn't hanging over there. And um, 
so as as great of an accomplishment as 73 was, um, it's still about winning a ring. And um, so in my mind, um, it was much more feasible last year because we were kind of just running everything right back. We had the exact same group. We had the momentum from the championship. Um, I, had a, I had a good feeling we'd win a ton of games last year. This year is, is different. I have no idea how many games we'll win. People are probably going to say we're going to win X amount. I don't care. Um, what I'm looking forward to is the challenge of um, our guys putting this thing together and growing as the season goes on. Um, we're going to experiment quite a bit. We're going to play a lot of different people, a lot of different combinations during the regular season. Um, and we'll try to be at our best come playoffs.